The first step is to locate the universal GPS harness, part number A21146. This is inside the kit number A21143. There are three total connections. You of course have your 9-pin serial connection, which plugs into your Viper 4. It's a small black style connection, looks like it plugs into the back of your computer. The other side is a T-fitting which has two Deutsch ends on it, a male and female side, and that is going to plug into our factory location of our Starfire receiver on your customer's John Deere tractor. The next thing you want to locate is your Viper 4 display harness. It is best to have the Viper 4 display and associated cables that come with the update kit already installed into the tractor prior to installing your GPS cable. Make sure that those pieces are installed and harnesses are routed correctly prior to installing this GPS adapter cable. If you follow down to your very first connection, it's going to be labeled GPS receiver DGPS. Once you've located that cable off of your display harness, plug in your serial connection from your John Deere Starfire receiver cable. Plug those two together and then we're going to route the rest of the harness outside of the cab and up to the Starfire receiver location close to your wiper motor on the front side of the cab. The easiest way to do is simply disconnect the factory Starfire receiver connection on the front lip of the cab, remove it, and install the T cable plug it in line with your current Starfire connection. One side of the T plugs into the connection underneath the lip of the cab and the other side is your Starfire cable plugs into the other side. Route your extra cable from your T and secure it with zip ties into the cab. Once you have secured it, the T is in and your GPS cables are connected to your display harness your installation of the cable part is complete. We now need to set up and send the correct GPS measurements from your factory Starfire receiver to the Viper 4. This can be done with most John Deere displays including the GS2 2600, the GS3 2630, and Command Center if applicable. The setup may vary slightly between displays but the following instructions are specific to the 2630. Once the GS3 or whichever display you're using is fully turned on, we're going to go into our menu settings. The menu button is in the, located in the lower right hand corner. It has a up arrow followed by some dash lines to the right of it. Once you tap on that button, it brings up a whole list of main menu options and we are going to select Starfire icon on your menu list. Once you've selected that value, you then go to the Starfire screen and select the Serial Port tab. Once you get into the Serial Port tab, this location is where we are going to turn on the correct messages so the Viper 4 will recognize the Starfire receiver. The three messages are as follows. GGA, VTG, and lastly ZDA. Once those three boxes are checked, we also must make sure in the upper portion of that screen there is an output rate box. Make sure that it is set to 5 or 10 and depending on your receiver, I would recommend selecting it to 10 or the maximum that it allows you to. This gives you a faster update rate of position and inherently allow the GPS to perform better. Once those values are added, the three boxes are checked, you have a minimum of 5 set in your update rate, the setup is complete for the John Deere Starfire and cable installation for the Viper 4. 
From this point, we need to get to the Viper 4 and recognize our Starfire receiver. These steps are outlined in the quick reference guides for the Viper 4, as well as the owner's manual. This step I would recommend not being done until you are out and have GPS signal prior to performing those steps. Thank you.